Bonjour mes amis, c'est moi, Beram. And once again, I'm back with French grammar. And today, you and I are going to be perfect in les prépositions in French. My dear friends, prépositions, you always seem to get confused. Believe me, it is such an easy topic. It comes for fill in the blanks. It may come for match the following. But it's such an easy topic. There are only two ways to solve it. And here they are. One, as per translation. Two, as per rules. Sir, as per translation, as per rules, let me tell you. As per translation, you only need to know your vocabulary, which of course, if we are learning a new language, we all know it. For example, le livre est blank, le sac, mettez la bonne préposition. It's so simple. As per vocabulary, the book is in the bag, dans. But there are some prepositions which have some rules. For example, il pleut, blank, autumn. Now, it rains in autumn. You will say, sir, as per vocabulary, dans. Wrong. It's en autumn. And that's what we are going to do, you and I. We are going to learn the rules of prepositions. Are you ready? Here we go. First one, seasons. Right? For all seasons, you are going to use en. On autumn, in autumn, on ive, in winter, on ete, in summer, exceptions, au prêtre, in spring, and pendant la mousson, during the monsoon. So if I have a blank year, dash autumn, le ciel est gris, on autumn. Right? But if I have a sentence, il fait beau. The weather is fine, the weather is pleasant, the weather is beautiful. In spring, yes, you know, au prêtre. So rule number one for seasons, done. Let's move on. Fantastic. Now, what are we looking at? Months. My dear friends, if it is in just before the month, en. But if it is in before the word, the month, then au. The lectures begin, commence, au mois de juillet, in the month of Y. If it is before the word, the month, then AU, ou, or, en octobre. If it is before a specific month, EN. Fantastic. That's so easy. What fantastic rules. Yes, look at countries. Something which you all say is so confusing, it is so easy. Read this properly. For all cities, N is equal to A graph. A Pari, A Mumbai, A Nashik, N is equal to A graph. For all regions, N is equal to EN. And for all feminine countries and vowel countries, N is equal to EN. For all the remaining countries, which means masculine countries, not beginning with vowels, in is equal to AU, exceptions, O Zeta Uni and O Peba in the United States of America and in the Netherlands. Fantastic. So, Canada, as you can see up there, is a masculine non-vowel country. So, we are going to use AU. France is a feminine country. So, we are going to use EN. Was that simple? Awesome, my dear friends. Moving on. And now we have transportation. Look at this. Only two prepositions can be used. A velo, cycle. A bicycle, bicycle. A cheval, horseback. A pied, on foot. Can you see in none of these four are we inside the vehicle? That is why a graph. But look at the rest. On auto, by car, inside. On autobus, by bus, inside. En voiture, by vehicle, inside. En train, en avion, wherever we are inside the vehicle. Now tell me, look at the sentence. Pierre va voyager, dash avion. En avion, why? We are inside the plane, we are not riding on the plane. Fantastic. But look at the next sentence. Je vais à l'école, I go to school. 
blank bicyclet. Sir, you go to school? Are as a teacher, my friends. Now you can see I'm not inside the cycle. A bicyclet. Fantastic. Conserve energy. Use the bicycle. Awesome, my dear friends. As you can see, we have just finished a few rules. Some more to come in the next module. You and I are going to be perfect in Les Prépositions.